In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Blessed Wednesday morning to all of you. Today we celebrate the feast of two apostles, Philip and James. These apostles have been with the Jesus and have been pillars of our uh, Catholic faith. They were faithful in proclaiming and witnessing the good news. In this Mass, we offer it for the following intentions. For healing blessings of Salome, Salome Manzo, healing and deliverance of Danny Gomez, for the eternal repose of Balbina Escaleras, Andrew Medina and Father Adrian M. San Juan. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for he is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you are the King of apostles. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are our good and true shepherd. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladdened us each year with the feast of the apostles Philip and James. Grant us through their prayers a share in the passion and resurrection of your only begotten Son, so that we may merit to behold you for eternity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I am reminding you, brothers and sisters, of the gospel I preached to you, which you indeed received and in which you also stand. Through it, you are also being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you, unless you believed in vain. For I handed on to you as of first importance what I also received that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the 12. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at once, most of whom are still living, though some have fallen asleep. After that, he appeared to James, then to all the apostles, Last of all, as to one born abnormally, he appeared to me. The word of the Lord. Their message goes out through all the earth. Their message goes out through all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God, 
and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out to the word today, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. says the Lord fill up whoever has seen me has seen the Father Alleluia 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 The Lord be with you A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Jesus said to Thomas, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time? And you still you do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you, I do not speak on my own. My Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else Believe because of the works of themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. There are so many things that we can reflect upon in the Gospel today, but I'd like to zero in our reflection for today uh, with the conversation of Philip and Jesus when Philip asked Jesus, Lord, show us the Father. And that would be all. That would be enough for us. And the next answer of Jesus to Philip is that you haven't seen my father in seeing me. Who has seen he who has seen me has seen the Father. You see, the the usual uh, claim of Jesus is that he is one with the Father. The Father and I are one. This is very evident in the Gospel of John. I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. Why would Philip ask that question that he does not know the Father? It's a beautiful uh, conversation that invites us to reflect, brothers and sisters. Show us the Father. People can also ask that from us. Can you show us God? How could, Jesus said, how could you not recognize me? Uh, how, how could you not recognize the Father in me? 
This is the challenge of every Christian. Our life as, a Christ, as Christians are not only devoted to the celebration of the sacraments, the Eucharist, and the devotion. Our life as Christians is to show to others the image of God, the image of the Father. What is the image of the Father? The Father is compassionate. The Father is loving. The Father is forgiving. The Father is understanding. It is easy for, for people to, to see in us. We go to church. But the challenge is that after coming from the church, are we able to reflect the true image of God in us? That when they see us, they see God. How come people they not, uh, do not see the God in us? That's the challenge. There's a word in, in, in our language. Okay? Whenever someone is uh, angry at us, demonio. Demonio ka. You're a demon. You're a beast. Why? Maybe people are acting like the beast. Maybe people are acting not the ways of God. Maybe people are not speaking, some Christians are not speaking the word of God. Maybe they're not showing the way. Maybe they are not uh, witnessing the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Can we also show the God with the way we live, with the way we speak. You know, uh, it's not only consoling, but when they hear, you know, when I see in you your face, I see the face of God. But when you look at someone, especially your husband or your wives, they say, I don't see God in you. It's a challenge for us. We go to Mass, we go to church. And how come the people fail to see the God in us? We are branded wicked. We are branded as uh, uh, critical and uh, judgmental and unkind, inconsiderate. These are things that describes us that we are not reflecting the true God in us. We receive Jesus every day. Okay. When uh, the, one of the bishops, uh, uh, soon to be ordained bishop, asked Mother Teresa what advice she can give to him. And she said this, give us Jesus, only Jesus, always Jesus. Can we reflect Jesus? Can we reflect God the Father in the way we live as Christians? God is a loving Father who hears every prayer. With confidence, let us now present our needs. That the Pope and all bishops may be blessed with all good graces in faithfully living out their mission received from the apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may guide the minds and hearts of leaders in promoting the dignity and sanctity of human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who despair may receive the grace of the Holy Spirit in finding hope in the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That this faith community may be good soil that bears good fruit after hearing the word of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that all who have died may soon see the Father's face, see the Father face to face in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this mass, for today's mass intentions, Salome Monzo, healing and blessings. Danny Gomez, healing and deliverance. For the repose of the souls of Balbina Escaleras, death anniversary. Andrew Medina, rest in peace. Father Adrian San Juan, rest in, pre rest in peace. And for the special intentions we hold dear to our heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our loving Father, you know our thoughts, you know our hearts. Even though you know our hearts and our thoughts, we still express it to you, our needs, because we know that you are a Father who loves us and cares for us. Listen and answer to, your pray to our prayers. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for three goodness we have received this bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for three goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O oh Lord, the offerings we bring for the feast of the apostles Philip and James, and bestow on us religion pure and undefiled through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for all ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, who say our Archbishop, all his auxiliary bishops and the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, James and Philip, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, peace in our country, peace in our home, peace in the whole world, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, danger, and anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. Let us share to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Sisters and brothers, behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
Please stand. Let us pray. Purify our minds, we pray, O Lord, by these holy gifts we have received, so that contemplating you in your Son, together with the apostles Philip and James, we may be worthy to possess eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go to love and serve the Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all other evil spirits who prowl throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, most immaculate heart of Mary, Saint Joseph, Saints Philip and James,